Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Ashley and this is Nikki Ash Beauty. And today I'm gonna to be doing a fun berry pink look that I wanted to share with you. So if that's something that interests you, please like and subscribe and let's get started. So I'm gonna be starting with my Tom Ford Matte, uh, Traceless Soft Matte Primer. Um, I did get the foundation as well in the shade Ivory and I went to Nordstrom's and I was shade matched to that shade and I felt like in the store it looked a little warm but I thought maybe it was just the lighting because honestly um, the lighting was not that great and so I went ahead and purchased it anyway. So I've been wearing it the last couple of days and I noticed how yellow-ish it looks on me um, as it go throughout the day so it does oxidize quite a lot because when I first apply it it doesn't look too bad so by the end of the day I look like an oompa loompa <laughs> so I'm going to be returning that foundation I already started the return process I want to pick up another shade um, but I think I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale and I think I'm gonna try the shade linen so even though I did go into store and get shade match sometimes we know ourselves better than other people even a professional so next time if you're not sure about a shade just wait don't do it go with your go with your gut i feel not your gut but go with what you know works for you and what looks good on you and um especially like i said if you're having second doubts but anyway let me get off my soapbox um so yeah let's go with this traceless uh primer I do like the primer, um, but I'm gonna try it today with my uh, uh, Louis Boutin, uh, Louis Boutin, Christian Louis Boutin uh, foundation. And I really like this one. It is more of a matte foundation, so it should go good with this primer. Um, the only thing I don't like about this primer, it's not, it's one ounce, but I don't feel like that's a lot. Um, so I feel like it's gonna run out quickly, but I mean, to compare it to my one size primer that I went through rather quickly, it's an ounce too, but I guess it feels sturdier because they use a glass case versus this fancy plastic case. But anyway, so I'm just going to use a little pump of primer. And it does have a smell to it. Nothing bad. Okay, and I did already moisturize my face and it's kind of oily today. So this matte foundation should be good on it. Um, it's, I'm back in Houston. I went away for a work trip, quick work trip. Um, how many calls us? Oh, there we go. Um, to Louisiana and it was just an overnight trip and I'm back. I did do a video in the hotel there, but I looked, the lighting was horrible. And not only was the makeup that I've been wearing super yellow, it made me even look worse. So I was editing last night and I spent a lot of time editing the video and I just decided to scrap it, unfortunately. But I'm gonna use some of the products that I used in that video uh, yesterday in today's video. So um, I like to do two pumps. I love the smell of this foundation. It does have a smell. And this is the shade, um, Rosy Nude 15C. Um, and light to medium neutral undertone. However, I can pull off, apparently, a cooler undertone in this foundation at least. And this is a medium to high coverage foundation. It's not new, but it's one of my favorites that I have right now that is, well, it's the only matte one I have now, I think. No, I have Hourglass, but it's a little too yellow for me. Um, but this is one of my favorite foundations, so. Oh, and I just picked up the Valentino one. It just came in the mail. Um, it's the Very Valentino, and it has sunscreen in it, Spectrum. 
um, SPF 26 light lasting perfecting foundation I'm excited to try it um, yeah, I'll try that on another video. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be more of a matte foundation or luminous, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out together. And I hope it's the right shade because I did it online and we all know how that goes. Um, trying to pick out your shade online. Well, like I said, I'm pretty confident in knowing what works for me and what doesn't um the only problem like with the tom ford ones is it doesn't say that if it's a neutral or cool or warm on it when i was trying to look on the website so it's like i'm looking at these swatches that are probably not that accurate right and just base it off of that it really does help me and it helps other people too when they say, you know, this is a light neutral or this is light medium neutral and I'm able to kind of narrow it down a little bit better. And sometimes you can get lucky and find like a blog or something where somebody used swatches or went to um, the store or the boutique and got swatches and they put them all over their arm um, all, all the different shades and kind of look at that to help because that's more real life and sometimes they're in natural lighting or the store lighting whatever but you can get a better idea so that was just two pumps of the foundation and that's how much I use and I get pretty good coverage on it you could definitely build this up if you wanted to um, I'm not really going for the cakey look today, <laughs> uh, so, well, maybe I am because I have a lot of setting powder, um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep, like, do a little layer of the foundation. So next, I am going to go in with, let me see, something, okay, um, the next I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty, uh, faux filter, faux, faux filter, um, concealer. Uh, I'm looking for another concealer. I have a lot of concealers, but I like high coverage concealer, and this is the only high coverage one that I have right now. Um, I did pick up, and I did do a video on it, but like I said, I deleted it, the new uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and that one said that it was light neutral. Um, and remember, I'm light to medium neutral, so I like to go a shade down, and I picked it up, and it's super yellow on me. I put it a swatch on my wrist I know you can't tell it anymore but it was very yellow when I was looking at it when I was editing my video yesterday and when I got home I just did not like the way that it looked so I'm gonna be returning that to to Ulta I was really disappointed um, because it said it's high coverage I'm thinking about just exchanging it but they didn't have I went into Ulta when I bought it but they didn't have the samples like you know like all the shades out that you can try to see um they just had the one so i was kind of like eh. i just went off what the website said and generally like i said i have very good luck with that but i just did not um today i'm just gonna go over my eyebrow bone a little bit because i need to tweeze my eyebrows and we'll let that dry and um i think I'm going to use, well, I don't think. I am going to be using this Natasha Denona. Um, it's the Berry Pop Cheek Trio Blush Highlighter Palette. I saw um, Genevieve, I think it's Genevieve Beauty Blog, use it, and I'll tag her below. And she used it like a couple months ago, but I thought it was so pretty um, on her. And she's more fair complected than I am. Um, so I was like, oh, I want to try it, and I got it on sale at Ulta with my 20% coupon. Um, by the way, you can only use that coupon one time. So uh, I did not read the fine print. So when I went back to Ulta and I bought some other things, um, I was gravely disappointed when I got to the counter and they're like, oh, you already used it. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know it was only a one-time thing. But yeah, that sucked. I didn't buy a lot, but that's not the point. I feel like with the Sephora sale, if you get 20% off, 
you can use it as many times as you want. So I hated that I couldn't do that for, um, for Ulta. You know, you would think that you would be able to use it more than once. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go in with my BO5 Rougher uh, Concealer Brush. This is my favorite concealer brush. Um, I did pick up the Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush with the Amazon sale. It was like $13 and I'm sorry, you can't beat that. Um, so that should be coming in today and I'm excited to try it. It kind of reminds me of this brush, but I've heard really good things about it. So I'm just going to dab. Um, this concealer, I probably could have gone in with just one dot under the eye, but oh well. Because it looks very white. I think I got a tan walking around in Louisiana. Because my skin, I feel like, looks a little darker. I've been outside a little bit more, and I honestly need to up my SPF game. Because I'm not going to lie, I do not wear SPF on my face because generally I am inside but ugh, skin cancer runs in my family my dad had it recently and I really 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 should be careful and be more mindful and honestly I do have um of course I do uh clay de Poe, uh sun's SPF like it's just um what is it let me look in my drawer it's just like um like a sheer coverage SPF 30. Um, it's some in, somewhere in here, but it's packed to the gills, so I can't get it out. But I should start wearing that as a primer under my face. Um, okay, so let me take my foundation brush and kind of dab out the rest of this concealer on the ends. I am looking like a ghost under the eye which leads me to believe that I have gotten some color on my face because usually it doesn't look too ghosty um, and I like to put it on on my eyelid too because my eyelids get super dark like look how dark they are So quickly do that and then do the top of my head or my forehead um, I don't put any on my chin you probably see a lot of people influencers or makeup artists enthusiasts put like a dot on their chin I don't cuz I feel like my chin is so like my shape of face so my chin is kind of comes out a little bit like a heart not a heart face, not a heart shape, but it is more protruding, so I just don't need to emphasize, I don't feel the need to emphasize that. But it's so nice to be back home with the natural, it's a beautiful day. Here in Houston, it's a hot, beautiful day. Um, okay. But I'm leaving again on Sunday back to Louisiana for a week but this time I'm ready I got a new tripod on the Amazon sale because um, I had a gift card for my birthday and I got a new like desk ring light so I'm ready to do my makeup videos <laughs> in Louisiana and I'm checking in a bag this time so I don't have to be conscious of what liquids I bring and things like that so I'm super excited for that um, those purchases but yeah, okay, so now that the under eyes are done, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and kind of dab it out a little bit more. Cause yeah, it's super, super light. And I do like a little bit of light under my eye, but yeah, that looks good. Okay, at least I think it looks good. Um. So I am going to go in now with uh, 
not going to go in with this. I decided not to. I'm going to try this Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. Um, I don't usually use setting powder. Uh, I was going to use the secret brightening powder for under eyes, but my I think my under eyes look bright enough, so I think I'm going to pass on this today. Okay, sorry, my husband walked in the door. So yeah, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier setting powder, and I'm going to just use it. It's translucent, loose setting powder, ultra blur. Um, it's talc free with ultra blurring power. This truly translucent power sets makeup for 16 hours of weightless wear with a matte soft focus finish. Infused with ultra blurring ingredients like amnio acid and silica powder blend, Laura's new formula instantly blurs away the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections with total shine control and zero photo flashback. Um, so I think I'm just going to set it under the eyes though, not the whole face. And I just tipped out the thing and it was a lot of powder that came out. So I'm going to put it on the lid and I'm going to use my little handy dandy sponge thingy and rub it into my hand first and go under the eye. And do the same to the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour the rest back. It's very messy, that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna take this big BK Beauty 102 brush and I'm just gonna dust it off, the excess off. What do you think? I think it looks good um it's not too mat mattifying um yeah we'll see how it goes okay um for bronzer i didn't get a bronzer so let me grab a bronzer and i'll be right back okay so today i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury um, bronzer it's in medium number two And I am going to take my BK Beauty 103 brush and go into it. I really, really like this bronzer. It's a cream bronzer, but this is probably one of my faves besides my Sephora matte one. Okay, so I have my bronzer on, and um, yes, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Glow Bronzer. It's smoothing, healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face or body, um, and body. But I just love, love, love this bronzer, and like I said, it's probably one of my favorites outside of the Sephora matte one. Um, yeah, so now let's go into this berry pop cheek trio by natasha denona i'm really excited to try this it looks super pigmented though um i nicked it a little bit but this is what it looks like and this is a cream blush tinted glow cream base and dream glow so let's swatch them so this is the cream blush. And then the tinted glow cream base. Let me get a little bit better swatch than this. And the highlighter. 
I'm not really a big highlighter fan, but for this purpose, um, we're gonna try it out. So I think I'm gonna do the ta Patrick Ta method and use the powder first, the cream blush, um, and then go in with the tinted glow cream base and then in with the um, highlighter. So I'm going to take my Patrick Ta brush um, and just get into, I don't know how pigmented this is, so I might just dab. Doesn't look too pigmented. Um, so I dabbed a little bit on my hand, but let's see. This is really, really, really pretty. Very pigmented. <laughs> okay, and I'll just go in on the other side, dab some off. Um, now I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and kind of just go along the edges to blend it in a little bit and do the same. Okay, and that looks really pretty. Slipper, like I said, not super pigmented, um, like a perfect like pinched cheek look. I'm really liking this. And then let's go in with this tinted glow cream base, and I'm gonna use the other side of the Patrick Ta brush, which is supposed to be like the cream side of the brush. Um, I'm messing up the embossing, but oh well. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit. Oh. Ew! Right there. Ooh! Ooh! That is very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with that. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna dab it with my finger. I didn't evenly disperse the product. Okay, and it gives a little glow. And now we'll go in with the highlighter and I'm going to use my, uh, hold on, there we go. My Sephora highlighter brush. And like I said, I'm not a big highlight person, but let's see. That's pretty. And go in on the other side. pick up a little bit more and that's what that looks like now I do film in for uh, in natural lighting um, I do have an extra light artificial light today um, to brighten up the area a little bit okay so that is the Natasha Denona Berry pop cheek trio and I like it. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, just go in a little bit with this brush. Because the cheeks are blushing today. Okay. Um, and let's add a little bit on to the nose. Just a tad. Nice. All right. Perfect. 
What do you think about that? Um, for eyes, I am going to use um, this Viseart Petites Fours. It's Rosea Lotus. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Let's do some swatches. Um, let me clean my hands. Okay, go in with this shade. This shade. This is pretty. This is so pretty. Okay, I think to do a base, I am going to, um, what brush is this? It's a crease brush. I'm gonna take a, uh, the Sephora crease brush. There is a lot of fallout, but got into the glitter and all over my clothes. I'm gonna go and do the crease. Oh, sorry. And that, not sure what shade it is. That is pressed, pressed rose color. It's really pretty and I'm gonna do the same on the other side You guys, I'm like loving this makeup look. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Then I am going to go into the outer corner. Ooh, I forgot I have um, my new What's Up Beauty brushes that I wanna use. Oh, the sticker got on it. So I'm going to use this um, R108 brush from What's Up Beauty. I believe this brush, in particular the 108 brush, is synthetic and goat hair. Um, I could be mistaken. I know the smaller ones are synthetic and goat hair. Um, but we're going to go into the shade Rose Nectar, which is the darker purple color, and we're going to put it in the outer corner of the eye. Go back in with a little bit more. I like these brushes because they're small and compact, so they're good for traveling too. That's really... So I do, I say it in every video, but I do have hooded eyes. So the landscape is minimum. So I'm gonna pull it out to the outer V so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and do it on the other side and focusing only on the outer V of the eye, kind of into the crease. And then when I do try to pull it out a little bit, I do it with my eye open so I could see better.
and it looks like there's like a wing but we'll clean that up a little bit um i just like to make sure it's even okay that's my ocd in me um and then we're gonna go into the middle shade i mean the middle of the lid with um blooming lotus shade which is this more purpley shade and hmm hmm i'm gonna put it in the inner to middle corner and i'm gonna use the r110 brush from what's up beauty and go into there is some fallout which I probably should do eyeshadow see how I got it on my cheek <laughs> the sparkly color I should probably do my eyeshadow first, but I will. Um, go into the other side. That looks so pretty. Um, and just to blend it a little bit, I'm going to go take the uh, R108 brush, the one that I used in Rose Nectar, and I'm just going to blend, take it in the middle and blend it a little bit. I didn't add any more product to it or anything like that. So that's what that looks like. And I am going to now take this um, R107 brush like a pencil brush and I am going to um, go into the shade spring twilight which is the lighter shade the sparkly shade and I'm gonna do the inner corner of my eye To give it a little pop that's so so pretty now I'm gonna jump off camera and I'm going to do my mascara um, and I'll be right back okay so I did my mascara and that's what that looks like so that is the completed eye look um, I used my Tarte Man Eater mascara. Um, I just really like the way that it makes my eyelashes look. I didn't put on any eyeliner, but I think what I'm gonna try to do, I'm just experimenting, is I picked up the new YSL. Um, oh, you know what? I did pick up the new YSL eyeliners. Not all of them, but this was a while ago when they first came out. I just haven't used it yet. And this is the plum color. Ooh, I think that'll look really pretty in the eye. So let's try that. Um, these dry very quickly, so we gotta be quick. Uh, I should have done this before the mascara, but that's okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks really good. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. Go in on the other side. Very, very pretty. And I'm gonna go into the waterline in the inner corner.
nice. What do you guys think? Okay, I was going to take the white one because it's called unmuted white and do the under eye to give it a pop because it makes your eyes look brighter when you go in with like a nudish white one. I don't know. I don't know if I should do it. Should I do it? Let's do it. Okay, so mm, hopefully it doesn't look bad. Okay. Okay, okay, it doesn't look bad. So see, like, it makes your eye look more open. I'm not gonna go in crazy with it. We're going to like deepen the outer line or the inner corner. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Mm, I kind of think I prefer it without, but it definitely opens up your eye and gives it a pop. And I haven't used these pencils yet that I bought, so it was good to use them. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, let's see. Finally, let's do a lip. Mm, what lip should we do? I picked up two colors from Valentino. I picked up Roma Fab Roso Valentino Satin 400R. And let's see what shade this is. I was gonna do the new Fenty Beauty um, lip or the gloss bomb stick, but it's more of a brown. We're kind of purplish here. So I think I want to do like a berry lip. So let's see what color this lipstick is. Cause y'all know I be buying stuff and I don't remember. Oh, this is like a reddish or it's like a pink color. Let's see. Oh, this could be pretty. So there's that one. I think it's too pink though. Focus, focus. Let me swatch it here instead. There. There. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a good color, but where this look? Pretty color, though. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of satin either, but I liked the color, so. Um, where's the other one? Here's the other one. The other one is in... <sighs> Poudre? Padre, no, Poudre. This is a matte one. It's the 102R. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. It's refillable. But it's not in. How do we get it in? Oh no, you guys. It's broken. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good. The shade right here. Let's swatch it. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I wish I had a lip liner. But okay, let's go in with it. I'm trying to see if there's a smell. Yes, there's a light scented smell to this Valentino lipstick. Mm, this is pink. Kind of look like a baby doll. Oh God. You guys, I have, my lips are so small. Okay. I feel like it looks uneven. Like this side looks. Okay, okay, who cares, who cares? So, 
The only thing I didn't do is my eyebrows. I usually brush them, but I don't have the brush near me, so we'll skip that today. So yeah, here's the final look. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this look today and I enjoyed all the makeup that I tried. Um, I'm really excited. The Viseart palette, the formula is great. Um, yes, there's a lot of fallout, but it's a great, great um, formula. I enjoy them. So uh, I definitely recommend picking up some Viseart eyeshadow palettes. If you're looking for some new eyeshadows, um, they just had a sale, but they have frequent sales. So keep an eye on that and look for some uh, discount codes because they're out there. I just don't have any because I'm new and maybe I'll never will, but anyway. Um, and then these YSL eyeliners, um, very, very nice, very smooth, and they do dry down um, and they don't smudge. So I think it, this plum worked out really well with the eyeshadow look. Um, I'm going to see the <clears throat> setting powder um, from Laura Mercier. Seems nice. I don't see, I mean, I have fine lines. I mean, I'm not, I'm like close to the fourth floor as uh, some people say. I think, uh, what's her name, Jacqueline, <laughs> on here, she says she's on the fourth floor. I'm very close to the fourth floor. So I do have those fine lines under my eyes, um, more so on this eye. But anyway, I like it. It looks good. Um, this is not a new to me product, but I do love the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, what else did we try today? I'm loving this Natasha Denona Berry Pop. Cheek Trio um, looks great. The lipstick, to be determined. Um, I think I need to find a lip liner though. I'm sure I have like a Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I'm not, I love matte lipsticks and this is more of a matte lipstick. So I'm excited to see how that goes. And um, the Tom Ford primer, so far so good. I did jump off camera for like <clears throat> 40 minutes so I've been wearing the foundation, um, the Christian Louis Vuitton. I'm probably but butchering that foundation with this Tom Ford primer and it looks very nice. Um, but yeah, so I think that recaps everything. There wasn't anything that I really disliked. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Take care, be safe and see you later. Bye.